What is up everybody? My name is Charles or known as CTBTR and welcome back to another video. So, um, I did say this and it's been a while to make of this video being coming out and based on the title of the video is that I'm finally, uh, finally managed to get, you know, everything down trying to make sure everything is all put in together so let me just clarify before I get into this review on something that has never shown on the channel based on the, on the thumbnail I want to say is make sure you guys watch episode 1 of Island Camp it is finally and I mean it it is finally out it's finally into its presence of the very first episode soon in the next few days Episode 2 will be uploaded onto the channel normally, not by uh, premiere wise, because that would be dumb. But I want to get it out as soon as possible, and I don't want to be lazy to kind of forget it about it. I don't want to do that. And there's also some little bit of changes I might end up doing that, is, that I have to take care of, put it that way. But, anyways, now let's get on to this review. And this is all about the GBA, or known as the Game Boy Advance SP, or the Game Boy Advance in general. And it's the SP version. It's not like the uh, this bulk one from the original. But today, the reason why I want to review this is because it's nostalgic. It's pretty cool during its time, and. I want to kind of review it based on what you guys want to see and this is part of the expansion of the channel so let's get on with what it does so I angled up my camera in a different ang uh, a different area so you can't like see see uh, my face you know, as well as from the from the GBA stance I wanted you guys want to see it by itself not my face and with the GB at the same time, but here it is. So with all this glory and based on the quality of the camera, it's not uh, it's bad. I'll tell you that tell you freaking the goddamn video is bad. But with this luscious device that is from the 2000s, this is right before the DS era of handholds, and this is the last GBA that you're ever gonna be ended up seeing. But this is the uh, the very first version of the model that has uh, 001. So if you got that model in in this format launch, and I'll show that in a second and why I said that. But if you get the uh, 101, it's gonna be a little bit better. But we got the D-pad, we got the A and B button right here, we got the start, we got the select. You got these shorter buttons in the back, as well as the charger for the GBA to put on. Plus, this is for when you want to put it on the TV, and there's a reason for that because there's a converter thing, which is for the game GameCube, where you can play all the games that's that's on the TV TV mostly. So, yeah. Um, and you got your battery compartment, and I actually did swap out a fake battery that I know of, which I would rather not get into, but if you have seen those fake knockoff systems from uh, any other channel, you already know and familiar with. And this is where the card slot will go for the cartridges of the Game Boy Advance games, but uh, apparently with the uh, stickers I had or the printing on the wherever what game it is I managed to pull them off when I was little and it was terrible but I'm gonna place that back in there and this is the Mario Kart Super Circuit by the way so that's why I named it or I renamed it just to let you guys know but let me take the cartridge out again for a second and here's the volume slider and there's also the power button which I forgot and this is where the charging will go we'll get that in a minute and this is when uh, the power uh, lights lights up from there so let me turn on the volume and I'll show you why that that this is the launch version of the models of the Game Boy Advance SP well it's because of the screen so as you can see when I press the screen 
of the brightness. This is the original kind of way you want to see, but then this is the one that you see from the launch, and this is the launch version, and there's the power color. And you ever seen this is green? I want to mention this. If you ever seen this is green, that means it's at full power. If it's not, and it's gonna be red, there's a reason for it, and we'll get that, like I said, I'll get that in soon. But that's how this is. But also, if you don't put in the cartridge inside of the, the whole entire thing, oh, there goes the red, that this is what I was talking about. Um, and also, I do have the GBA charger on my own thing, and yes, I have a new desk. I didn't talk about this yet, but soon, eventually, that will be reviewed. But, and remember, my own GBA of itself is old, so just keep that in mind. This might end up... So I'll say this, if your GBA is old, this is going to end up glitching of the charger, but there it is. And I'm going to power it back on again. But, going back to the screen here, as you notice, and sorry for the quality, but as you notice that it doesn't say Nintendo, right? But, whenever you place in a game, like this one, hold on a second. It will actually finally say it, and it doesn't show it on camera, but it does say it right there. Barely. And it gives us to the, the, the whole entire game. And then, there you go, you got it all, uh, my god, my, oh my god, the camera looks bad. I definitely need to do webcam, guys, I'm sorry, but it has to be. But yeah, so that's how the GBA works in the, all terms of the conditions. But, like I said, this is old, alright? <laughs> it's never been uh, used for a long time until I found some of the games and a brand new battery to use it on. And plus with a new charger based on, uh, based on the setup here. But yeah, um, I'm going to rec recommend this, uh, or kind of say this, is that make sure you try to clean your... Clean your um, your GBA as possible. I had had I had mine's done with a friend to clean out the buttons and all that stuff, and it felt a lot more better. So like I pressed the B button, it's not as sticky as it was. So thanks to him, whoever your name is. But other than that, that's the GBA, everybody. And also I forgot to mention it does show the Nintendo thing on there that shows that that's Nintendo. But the way I would see it is that when it comes to um, when it comes to like uh, getting getting one fresh new, it's very difficult to find, and I'm gonna say that right now, it is very difficult to find one. But mostly, it's on Amazon, and it's up to like a hundred dollars, which is, it's not bad, but it's still it's still expensive. It's the same thing with the DSs that you're trying to get. That's why I'm gonna get one in in this Christmas if I if I can. But if not, uh, it's gonna be uh, delayed a little bit. Um, what I was about to say is that I want to say this is that I won't be managed to make a another review of an item as well. I did say that there's another one that is also classic wise, but I feel like it's not gonna work properly with camera visuals because I need to get a graphics card thing for for it to work on on the, on on something, but. I feel like, I think it, there's going to be a video that's going to be replacing this, replacing that video I wanted to do after this one, so keep that in mind, it's also a disclaimer too, but, yeah, overall, that this is, this is the GBA, and, uh, hold on, I'll get to the, to the actual main screen, hold on, or the main, uh, where we're going back to where we're supposed to go. So yeah, overall, with the GBA of itself, I feel like that this is like the old classics console handheld pieces of technology of the 2000s, besides the original GBA and Game Boy Color and, you know, all that good stuff. But, no, the GB, I meant to say, not the GB, but I did say GBA, but this is a lot a more far, more better GB, uh, GBA, so keep that in mind. But also I want to keep this in mind, I do want to say is that with this console in particular, I kept some of my games in here, but let's take out like, let's say Pokemon for example, and by the way, I'm going to say this re in, in regard, I do like Pokemon somewhat, but I just don't like playing the games, but I'm more of like a series show type of guy, 
of the classic original uh, show where it all began. So keep that in mind. I'm not like a uh, new newbie type of guy. Uh, a new like a person who excites excitement for new stuff. Put it that way. I just like some old stuff. As well. some, I like some new stuff aspects within certain things, but I like to go back to the old ways. I'm gonna put the, uh, the game in here. So it's already here, but it sticks out. But if I turn it on, which I want to mention, it gives us this original um, aspect of the screen. Which hold on a second. Yeah, there it goes. It gives us the original screen, but if you press the like the short, no, the left shorter button, it gives us a more. Uh, oh yeah, if you press the by any one, it changes the aspect. Which I want to keep the original, which does a little bit better. But also, I want to want to make sure the game is still working. So hold on. I am trying my best, guys. I'm trying to get this game loaded. I'm sorry, but but like I said, game, the, G, uh, the Game Boys and Game Boy Color does work. But this one right here is actually a Game Boy Color. It's not like an original game, Game Boy, so keep this in mind. So, yeah. Other than that, that is pretty much it to this video. And um, hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Even though, even though this is not going to go as, as planned or viewed wise as other videos I have done. But if you want to check those out, it, they're going to be in on my channel. That's all I can say where you can find them. Other than that, um, I'll see you guys within another video where I'm going to be showcasing something that I really want to show this for a very long time. Based on the banner as well. And I said that, said that within the channel update. But other than that, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in the next video of reviews of something that I want to do for a very long time. Stay fresh, everybody. So before I end this video properly, I forgot to mention that I used to have two more GBAs. One is the other red, and the other one is a green one. And all of a sudden, I remember that that I broke them in half I don't know why I didn't why why did I did do that is because back then I I used to be stupid but not as much anymore or well that's way long time ago it's over like 10 years at this point but to be honest I'll say this I should have not broken that uh, broken those two systems it would I would have three three of them by today but nope as well as a, a Nintendo DS as well. I should have not broken mine. Or broken uh, the uh, family wise one. Put it this way. And it, I'll say it. It should have been uh, not been broken. But I did. As well as the GBAs. Except for one. Thank God I still kept that one. That I just showed. Otherwise there would be no review as of today. Once this gets uploaded. But. Other than that, um, I will say this. Have a great rest of your day for everyone, and I'll see you guys later. In a proper note, stay fresh, everybody.